Light bulb. Brothers and sisters, Shalom. I would like to share an experience I've been going through uh, with my wife the last few days. Uh, ever since I put out the complaint video a few days ago, uh, the next day I got tested on all that because things just went wrong everywhere in the salon. It was dead. There were no clients. We got bills coming out of our ears. And uh, I just went into a really dark, deep, negative place. Flogged and battered about by my behavior and Yahusha just letting me know, this is not on, mate. Look at the word you just put out there. Why don't you practice what you preach? So I had to look at myself and my wife and I had to look at it that night and what we're going through and why and why everything's sort of coming down and everything like that. And so I realized, night bulb, long story short, that in every situation I've been in, the things that happen in the day and everything like that, I think negative. Everything I think negative all the time. Like, uh, you know, a bill will come in and go, oh, that'll be right, yeah. Another big bill, yeah, that'll be right. You know, something will go wrong, or yeah, or, or we'll think about something for the future. Oh yeah, that, that, that ain't gonna happen. No, that's not gonna happen. That those things don't happen to us. No, that's how I would communicate with my wife. So, despite how I would present things on video, I've been very negative, uh, depressing sort of. Yeah, negative. Negative is the word. Person. Ding ding. So I have to look at where negativity comes from. Because scripture says that, that my thoughts to you, says Yahuwah, are as many as the sand on the seashore. And Yahuwah does not send us negative thoughts. Light bulb! You know, we feel his fire. We feel it when he turns away or when he's not happy with us. But he doesn't flood our mind with negative thoughts. So if it's not Yahuwah, who is it? So like I said in my last video, last 10 years or more, <clears throat> I've been ripped off. Thinking the thoughts that I'm having are mine, thinking the interactions I'm having with people are human interactions, when it's actually what's in me and what's in them, battling it out, and I'm just you know, hating and being angry at people, and negative, and down, you know. So anyway, the other night I decided that I'm going to put everything, because there's so many things you can look at when you come into this experience. And you think, oh, look at me. Where do I start? Where do I start? So this is where I started the other day. I said, I'm not going to have any more negative thoughts. No more negative thoughts. That's the only thing I'm going to try and do in my day. No negative thoughts. So you're talking to clients and things will come up or another bill will come in or something like that. And a negative thought will come. No, get lost not having that and you go on with what you're doing and you think about something else because negative thoughts are evil spirits light bulb negative thoughts are evil spirits ding ding negative thoughts are evil light bulb that's what i believe now that's 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 that's, that's what i believe now because yahusha does not fill us with negativity yahusha does not fill us he fills us, he says, my thoughts to you are of hope, to give you peace and love and hope and give you a future. And uh, the scriptures all, the verses all through scripture that say that. So I'm taking on the mindset now that I don't want any negative thoughts in my mind. And you know it if you're being flogged for something. So I realize now that, oh, this is another thing. Even if I have been in a really happy place, then I will get up in the morning and I will expect it to stay that way. I'm not facing that when I go out into the world, or even when I open my eyes, there's negative, there's spirits. The dragon is after me, waiting to trip me up, wanting to throw things at me. So if you're in this place where you're happy and you feel good for a few minutes, you've got to, you've got to be willing to understand that it's coming at you. Don't be surprised and offended when these things come at you because it's going to come at you. It's going to come at you. 
And we need to get to the place where we're seeing and we're expecting it. Because it's not actually our life. Light bulb. Yahusha is in all the things that happen. We should be, see that's the thing, we have plans. We have plans and we have agendas for our day. Today I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and 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 we write out lists, we write out charts, we write all the things that we're going to do. So anything that comes in the way of that, we get angry at. That's not what I planned for today. It's not what we're doing today. Father, why aren't you flying with me here? Who's in control? Light bulb? Who's in control? Ding ding! Who's in control? Light bulb? Who, 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 who's in control? So you need to, I know we have to, you know, go to work and have to get up and brush our teeth and do all those boring things and, you know, talk to our children whenever we can and do those routines. But those routines, and we have to get those routines in order, they're very important, so that when Yahusha moves, or when things come in the way, we can flow with it. Because that's what Yahushua wants. Not a body that is organized to its own rules, a body that is in its own little day-to-day -day routine so that when he moves and some problem comes in front of us, in front of us, we can go, oh, this is, this is you. What are you going to do here, Father? What are you going to do through this mouth in front of me, saying things at me, this email here, what are you going to say to me through this? What are you going to do here? And what do you want me to do in this situation? Put, 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 put yourself off. Put yourself off. Put yourself off. Put yourself off. Light bulb! But you can't do that if you're constantly in negativity and you're constantly trying to run your own life. So that's what I'm realising. Ding, ding! And yesterday, uh, this doesn't happen to everybody, but, but it was Yahushua showing me that He's having a relationship with me. He will provide everything I need. Not always what I want, because half the things you want are insane. He will provide what I need, what my family needs. I think I was on the floor yesterday in the salon. That's what, when I say I'm on the floor, that's a salon term. That means you're on standing up on the cutting hair, coloring hair, for about 13, 14 hours non-stop. And we had a massive day, one of the biggest days of so, in a week that was, I thought, in my negativity, going to be another dead week, Yahushua showed me, if you're willing to learn these lessons, if you're willing to flow with me, put your mind and your eyes on me, I'll take care of all the rest. Ding, ding! Light bulb! I'll take care of all the rest. Don't worry about all that stuff. You're not in control of it anyway. Worry is a sin. Worry is a sin. Worry is a sin. You've read the scripture in Matthew. Worry is a sin. Look at the birds. What, what, what outcome can you change by worrying anyway? So I just broke it down into a very simple one word, negativity. I'm very negative. I'm going to stop being negative and I'm going to think positive for it. And so whenever things would come up, I'd just say, oh, who's in charge of that? I'm not in control of that. Yahushua's in control of that. I don't have to know about that. Or worry about that. I just worry. I just work as hard as I can, be lovely to all my clients, and generally, he's also showing us to stop spending money that you don't need to spend. Light bulb! You know, that's the other thing too. If you don't have any money or you're broke, you've either over, you know, over uh, worked out what you need to spend or you've gone ahead with your plans without counting the cost or, you know, relying on other people to pay for it or, you know, that's real scabby, that's a real Christian. I don't know if you understand what scabby means. It's an Australianism. You, if somebody comes up to you and they're always hanging off you, wanting a handout, you call them a scab. Stop being such a scab. Stop, 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 stop being such a scab. That's just an Australianism. So stop being a scab. Stop waiting for a handout. Go and get a job. Go and work. You know, we all have to work. Scripture says you don't work, you don't eat. Ding, ding. Light bulb. I'm not. <clears throat> Judging anybody's walk. I'm just saying, if you're tight, like we've been tight, it's because you must be spending more than you're earning. Ding, ding! Easy. So, you know, because when you're on a diet, like we're on a diet, trying to lose weight, trying to get healthy. My wife's studying naturopathy, so you, 
all these things you're realising about what you eat. And if you're not strict, you go, oh, it's stuff it, too much pressure, let's go order a pizza. And then you wake up with a hangover the next morning. You know, it's not just alcohol that gives you a hangover, you know. You wake up with a hangover, you start yelling at your kids because they're awake or chipper and happy. And you've just got your, your eyes glued together, you know. So if this is, if this is a temple, which it is, this is a temple, do you like it? <clears throat> we need to be looking after our temple. And if our temple is supposed to be behaving and shining forth light, then if we're burdening it with you know, drugs and alcohol, and you know, they're the big ones, but they don't tell you about the food, do they? Yeah, the food's the biggest one. It's probably got more drugs and alcohol, not alcohol, but chemicals and drugs in it than anything. Watch what you eat. You've got to sleep, you've got to get sleep. You've got to eat properly. You've got to, you know, look after your body, otherwise you can't, <clears throat> you can't behave and operate properly. You can't show the love you've got to show. Anyway, so I'm stopped being negative now, and you should show me yesterday, you know, I'm looking after you, okay? So, I mean, I look at my appointment book today, there's nothing in the book today. That doesn't matter because in this town I can just people just walk past and they're fine. I'm not worried. Yahusha will look after everything. Light bulb. So that was a big light bulb for me. That's why I call this light bulb. It's a bit of a duh, didn't you know that? Duh, didn't you know that? Duh, 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 didn't you know that? Like I've had people telling me that for 20 years, you know. We even say to our staff, that's very negative thinking. We don't always tell them about evil spirits because that's not always professional. But we say there's positive thoughts and negative thoughts, you know. So if you listen to negative thoughts, you'll end up being depressed. Duh, didn't you know that? And Satan wants the dragon, wants everybody depressed because there's too many people in the world and he's trying to kill them off. And because he hates them. He hates everybody. Because we're made in the image of Yahuwah. He hates us. So he wants to depress us. Depress us. Because then maybe we'll go jump off a bridge. Blow our brains out. That's his plan. Light bulb. Kill them. Or, you know. He wants to kill the whole population. Kills them before they're even born. So. It's a very wicked system. It's wickedness everywhere. The dragon is after us. You need to wake up brothers and sisters. I, I, this, I just wanted to share this very simple thought. <clears throat> Don't be negative. Check your thoughts. We have to check your thoughts, Scripture says. Bring it into submission to the Word. For years, I just didn't think that was important. I thought, that nobody knows what I'm thinking. They're my thoughts. I choose what thoughts I express. I choose what I behave. It's not true. We think from our heart. We don't have a soul. So when all these airy-fairy people go on about the soul, there's no such thing as a soul. Duh, didn't you know that? No such thing as a soul. <clears throat> there's a body and there's a spirit. Easy. You know? We have a heart. We think from our heart. We think from our heart. So, what are you going to do about it? Are you a negative person? You run every situation down? Trust Yahusha. Stop thinking negativity. It's a very simple thing. Start now. You wake up in the morning. Start. Start right now. Stop thinking negative. Get rid of anything that's negative. Don't have it. And you can have a lot more fun too. Because you know that your intentions are what you're saying and typing and, and how you're relating to people. It's fun. It's love. You're not being negative. You're not cutting people down. So I just want to share that with you today, brothers and sisters. And uh, yeah, light bulb. Don't you get it? Light bulb. That's what you usually tell me. Ding, ding, light bulb. Light bulb!